800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. You've heard the stories. Perhaps you've fallen victim. It happens every day, right here at home. It's fraud. And there are a number of scams, old and new, designed to steal your money and your identity. Greg Marcinick at Heritage Insurance is on Ask the Expert. Greg, you and I both know crooks have been around forever, and now there seems to be more and more of them. Uh, they'll do it to your face, they'll do it on the telephone, they'll do it on your computer. Uh, you got to beware out there. And uh, you have some tips uh, from the Better Business Bureau and uh, some tips that have been provided by uh, law officials across the country to help us guard against getting ripped off by those crooks. Exactly right, Rob. In fact, uh, in 2010, statistically, over 7.3 million people People fell victim to cyber crimes, uh, scams, uh, and a total amount of $840 million is what has actually been uh, recorded as financial losses to individuals. The first tip that we have, and this is actually top 10 scams that we uh, are talking about here, is what they call brand spoofing. Brand spoofing, AA phishing, uh, a, a general term for email, text messages, and websites that are fabricated. And uh, it sounds like it's coming from a reputable company like a financial institution or a government agency. And basically, uh, what they are it's just a a link so they could get all of your personal information so the biggest thing is number one if you receive the messages just delete them and do not click on any links and if you get a call from someone asking for any of this information hang up on the calls caller if you aren't familiar with because the banks financial institutions uh, government they do not make phone calls they do not send out emails we're seeing it more and more on a regular basis rob Now, the bottom line is the bottom line. These uh, identity thieves are are looking to get after our money. Oh, bottom line. They definitely want to get in. They want to get your passwords. They want to get your bank accounts. These are sophisticated criminals now. Now, tell us about some of the other scams. Okay, the the number two is uh, advance fee loans. Uh, You've uh, seen there's uh, online once you get in. And again, you have to be so careful when you're going. Like they'll say... We'll loan you up to 5000 or up to $100,000. Just fill in this application, this information, and you'll get this loan. And what basically it is, it's just a scam. You go in, you fill in all your information. They're getting all your personal information, number one. Number two, they're charging you a fee right up front. Now, if they're ever charging you a fee for an online loan, stay away because they cannot charge any sort of money against you if you are going to apply for a loan. The third thing is gold buying schemes. Like back in 1912, gold was 18.93 per ounce. Now we're up to, you know, it varies from day to day, 17, 18, 2000 dollars per ounce. Uh, so if you are in a situation where you do have to sell any of your gold, make sure that you go and you get multiple appraisals and compare prices before you do sell because a lot of these companies they're just basically giving you pennies on the dollar. Number four, which uh, I have seen personally myself with clients, is uh, financial elder abuse. And you know the sad part of financial elder abuse is that uh, it's usually either from a family member or someone that they know. In a lot of situations, a lot of these people don't even realize that they're being taken advantage of. So the signs that you want to look for of a financially abused elder is first of all, missing belongings, unusual bank activity, uh, suspicious stories, like if there's things that aren't all adding up, Uh, sudden changes in power of attorneys or wills. The other one that hasn't been so much here in Saskatchewan, uh, power savings claims, uh, it's been very big in Ontario and BC where they actually go out and uh, they say they're going to replace your meter and put in a better meter where you can actually save money. Well, apparently it's not true. So again, not so much here in Saskatchewan. So those are the tips here today, Rob. Greg Marcinek at Heritage Insurance is on Ask the Expert. And, uh, Greg, we can find these tips online. Yes, they'll be posted at nohassleinsurance.ca, or you should certainly come down and get copies of these from many, many, any of our fine brokers here at the corner of Fairford and First. This has been Ask the Expert on 800-CHAB. 